Hello everybody, it's Tracy, and I have a few things to share with you today. Once again, this weekend, last weekend, that just passed, was a card making weekend for me. And what I wanted to do was make some Easter cards. So I started making a few of them. Um, I have more to make. The ones that I made this time were really cutesy. I'll make more uh, serious or spiritual, more pretty cards later. But uh, I'll show you what I have first of all. Um, let me see. Oh, first of all, let me show you this. Okay, so some of the cards that I made are made with my favorite things. Uh, uh, Pure Innocence stamps. Okay, well, first let me just show you the cards. <laughs> that way, you guys can see the cards, and if you don't want to hear me ramble, you don't have to keep listening. Um, well, let's show you this first one. This is not an Easter card, but... This is it. And this card I made from some scraps from my project, my dress form project. And I made it from the scraps that I used uh, from this paper, a la Prima by Prima. Okay? And this is the card. I hope you can see it. It's dark here. It's very early because I am an early riser. So it's dark, and I just have my light, artificial lighting. So this is the card, and it's a regular A2, standard A2 card. And I forgot the name of these little girls. And uh, very simple, I just used strips of that scrap paper and layered it. And I used a, uh, what is this, a uh, paper tray ink banner die for that. Uh, Amy, Rans Amy Ramsey, Amy R. stamp for hey there. Then spellbinders for the main image. I have some uh, Prima flowers with some stickles on them. And this is Recollections Pearls. Okay. And then this is the inside. Super simple. Okay. And the next one that's not an Easter one is this one. This is a uh, Hero Art stamp. And this is a 5.5 by 5.5 square card. Um, I use the spell binders to cut this out. Oh, this paper that I use for this card is called Blush. Lost and Found by Mind's Eye. So that's the paper I used for that. And I used a Hero Art stamps stamp set for just saying hello. And I have some Prima Lays and some Recollections um, Bling Roll here. Some I Am Roses Cherry Blossoms. And did I say uh, Spellbinders? Yeah, for this little back piece back there, I cut it out. And then more Spellbinders for the image. Put some stickles on her flowers. And then this is the inside. And I used an Amy R. Sentiment stamp there. Okay. So, and now on to my Easter cards. Okay, so the first one I did, oops, is this one. And for these, this card two of these cards I used this flower shower spring stack that I got maybe last year or maybe the year before but I really really love this stack of paper love it I've used it a lot and this is the card okay and it says hoppy Easter and I just printed that off myself Cut it with my uh, a Stampin' Up punch, and I forgot the name of it. Okay, so the grass here, I used my Fisker's punch to create the grass. Layering of the paper collection, another Spellbinders die that I actually embossed here. 
Um, I don't emboss very often because I totally forgot that I could emboss until recently. <laughs> and a ribbon. Here. Pretty simple again. And that's the inside of the card. Okay. Next is um, this one. And this card, I use my Spring Fling stack. That stack by DCWV. Another A2 card. Um, just some layering, just some cherry blossoms. Another sentiment, Have a Blessed Easter, that I just printed out and cut with my punch. Cut out with my punch. Have a ribbon there, some spell binders. And I put stickles on her flowers and hair barrette. Okay. And then that's the inside of that card. Okay, so last is this card. And this, I use the flower shower stack again. And this is using a um, greeting farm image, and it's a digital image that I got last year, and I do believe I got it for free. I got her, and I got a little boy that the greeting farms were giving out free last year. Let me show you the boy. I haven't colored him yet, but that's what he looks like. Okay. And so... I used a uh, uh, spellbinders die, added some bling around the edges, some recollections flowers with stickles on them. I used my grass punch, and this is all the paper in the back. It's a easel card, so it sits up like so. Okay, more paper. Um, I printed this sentiment too because I didn't have any. Easter stamps. I have two Easter stamps and they just weren't what I wanted. <laughs> and then I just cut this out with a EK Success Punch. And that is the card. Okay. So those are the cards that I made. Now, what I wanted to show you was about these little, uh, Pure Innocence stamps. So, I have been wanting to try these out from MFT for a while, but for me, $9 a piece, that's very expensive, especially since I was on the fence about how cute I really thought they were. <laughs> I was kind of like, thought they were cute, but not cute enough to pay $9 a stamp for. So, I just never bought any. So, I was reading a magazine that I got. I got this magazine. Let me show you from Joann's and this magazine is from the UK it's called Quick Cards Made Easy and I really like their magazines and so I was reading it and I came across this article about digital images digital stamps okay now some of the places I had heard of but one place in particular I did not I had not heard of and I saw this little stamp you see that I said, hmm, that looks a little bit like those MFT stamps. Let me check that out. So I did. And you cannot see it because my flip does not zoom. But number two is Heather Ellis in the UK. And guess what? She has, she is the illustrator of the Pure Innocent stamps. Her name is Heather Ellis. And she sells her images to MFT. And MFT makes stamps, the clear stamps out of them. But Heather Ellis also shared, uh, sells a lot of her images digitally at her website. And look what I found. These are just a few of the ones I got. And you can print them digitally, which means that you can make them any size you want. For instance, see how big that one is compared to that one? 
at all of these cute stamps. And the best part about it is that the price is decent. And when I got these on Saturday morning, they were on sale. They pro I'm not sure if they're still on sale today, but even if they're not on sale, they are significantly lower in price than the uh, stamps. Of course, those who are not interested in anything digital would not like this, but if you are, this is a good buy. And a lot of these stamps I got for $0.79 cents and one seventy-five a piece, you know? So, like I said, I got these and I got some other ones that I didn't print out yet. But, this is a steal of a deal. So, the uh, website for you to check out if you're interested is Heather Ellis. Let me write this down for you. If I can get my... Okay, because you can't... You're not going to be able to see this. So hopefully you can see that. Heather dash Ellis dot co dot uk. Okay? So that's where you can find these pure innocent stamps in digital form. And of course it's going to be in pounds. Is that it? Pounds? Yeah. Whatever. UK money. <laughs> and you'll just um, figure out the price through a converter yeah oh okay so that is that and for those of you who are still around I have a giveaway yes I do I have decided that I will give away two items this time okay and so the two items that are being give away, giving, given away <laughs> today are Spellbinders, Nest Abilities, Labels 5. Okay? That's what they look like. So one lucky winner will get that. And then the next lucky winner will get this Magnolia stamp. It's called I Can Fly, Tilda. And where is that card I made? A while back this is what she looks like okay so on Wednesday March 28th I will do a random drawing of two names the first name will receive this spellbinders and the second name will receive the Magnolia stamp and, um, yeah, so remember, all you have to do is be a subscriber and comment on this video. And, um, you can still comment if you don't want these prizes. If you don't want to be in a drawing, just tell me you don't want to be in a drawing. But I still welcome all comments. Nice comments. <laughs> and, um, yeah, be a, be a subscriber and comment. That's it. And I will draw names on Wednesday the 28th and so good luck to you and have a great day everybody and thank you so much for watching bye bye